Hey guys, Yowie Chase. Uh, we've got a sighting today from Bindari National Park down in New South Wales. Alright, so here's Bindari here. Uh, this way's Grafton. Over to here's Grafton, guys. Down here's what? Down towards Port Macquarie and Nimbodia would be that way. And look, there's old, there's old Nana Glen. Where they had the big Yowie conference. All right. Um, all righty, let's get on with the sighting. Okay, this is sighting number 1251, guys. Four-wheel driving up behind Nimbodia in Bindari National Park, 2018. Driving back down the mountain at dusk, almost night time. Stopped to urinate on the side of a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. I had a feeling I was being watched and looked up on the ridge directly opposite where I, where I was. I saw a tall shadow moving slowly behind tree to tree. It, mo it moved between two trees from one to the other, then back to the first, and then I didn't see it again after that. Right on night time, so I didn't get a great look at it. More of a moving shadow, about six foot six, I guess middle of nowhere i don't think it was human all right so so yeah look at that there's a ridge line there guys yeah this if you want to find yowies guys this is where you've got to walk you gotta go to your local area right go on to that map go to google maps and then type in train and scan out don't scan in and have a look at the ridge lines, okay? I'm telling you now, you always walk the ridge lines, okay? Now, this is where this guy said he looked up to the ridge lines. I, all my reports come from ridge lines, most of them. 90.9. You might get one down the bottom. You might get one down here. You might have come down off the ridge line. You might have followed this creek down and, you know come for something to eat down here so what you want to look for on a ridge line as you can see with this one it's got very good water all right so i drove i went from port i mean coffs harbour through this place you long i'll tell you the story i'll just get that off there so uh, i don't know when it was it was a few years ago someone might know it so it's near dorigo i was going to dorigo to um a mate I used to work with, oh, what's his name? Bob. Bob, I can't even think of his name. Stephen? Rob, Robert Stevens. Bob Stevens. So he leased the train line between South Dorigo and, oh, I don't know what the other place is called. Anyway, it was 44 miles. So I used to work with him all the time. I used to, that's why I used to hear about his bloody train line. And every time he build a bit a landslide would come through knock the tracks down then he'd be like trying to get rid of all the lantana because it would grow over the track and that's all i heard from me he used to say come up and give us a hand i never went up i wish i did if i would have known about yowies when i was i don't know i would have been 16 i suppose 17 when i was working with him he would have been 50 so he's probably about 200 now if he's still alive I'm a hundred, so. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I've, I've I've actually heard. Anyway, I was anyway. Look, I was on the way to that place, and then, um, there's a somewhere around Yulong. I don't know. I can never find it. But the old train bridge goes over this creek. It could be Little Nimbodia Creek. I don't even know. It's somewhere. Anyway, I went up this track. Dirt track. And then I went as far as I could go, probably about five, six k's up, and there was a tree across the road, and I couldn't get any further, so I turned around. And then I thought, oh, I'll stop at all the... There was two real sharp right-hand bends on the way out. On the way in, there'll be left-hand bends. So I stopped at those two right-hand bends, got to the first one, hopped out of the car, and I was going to try and walk down the water. There's no real track, pretty bushy, but you could see there was good water down there, and I wanted to try and get to the water. But I just had this feeling that someone was watching me. So I was looking up into the mountain, and I think the sun was actually shining through the bushes and all that. And I was looking around. I thought, there's someone up there, eh? I didn't see nothing. I wasn't right in the galleys then. If I, if I knew what I know now, I guarantee there was one there. 
Anyway, I jumped back in the car. I was freaking out. I went to the next bend. I'm on my way out now. So the bend's the right-hand bend on the way out. Stopped at the next sharp right-hand bend. Same thing happened, guys. It was like someone was up on this hill. Like I'd gone to heaps of creeks and all that while I was driving around. I didn't get that feeling not once. Only at this place. So someone here will know it. It's somewhere near Yulong. Somewhere between Yulong and Dorigo. All right. All right, so I've just clicked on those little, you know, how they had the little blue dots with the photos of the places. And it just brought me straight to this one. Have a look at this. Not a bad looking spot, eh? There's a bit of a good bit to be gold at the bottom of that. Anyway, that's what you want. Natural water holes like that, guys. If you're, if you're looking for yowies. That's where you want to be. And I don't know what it is, but if you find areas with these palm trees, they love them. They love that area. I don't know why. Maybe they eat something in there. I don't know. There's something going on with those trees. Well, doesn't look like a very easy track to get to. All right. So that's the Bindari one, guys. Now, if you want to um, share your story, you can go to Yowie Chaser, my Facebook page, Yowie Chaser, and message me there your whole story. Or you can come here to my Facebook group, Yowie Sightings Australia, guys. Just type in Yowie Sightings Australia. Now, don't. There's other ones with the same sort of name. Make sure you go to the one. There's, there ain't many with this many people join. 21,600 members. Make sure you go to that one, guys, and look for this. It says the official group of Yowie Sightings Australia. That's the one you want to click on to. Now, when you join, you can also leave your story there when you join, or you can share your story with people in the group. Now, once you, once you do join, you're going to see lots of stories, the stories that I haven't even told are in that group. You've got to go through them. There's that many. You keep scrolling down, and you will find them. There's just... It'd be good if we can put them in some sort of order. I don't know how to do it on Facebook. There's there's heaps, guys. So get over there, join it. Tell your friends, get on there, join it. Definitely the number one, number one um, Yowie group in Australia, if not the world, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm only joking. It's just a, it's an inside joke I got. All right, thanks for thanks for um watching. And guys, listen, always eat lemons, okay? Keep your vitamin C up, all right? That's all I can say. All right, see you guys. <laughs>